this is Stumpy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And another video inside of Stumpy's uh, lovely world. Today in this video, it is going to be me and the bear, me and Lee Bear together, building again the way it so often is. Sadly, uh, no other help is with us today, and uh, the reason for that is because I think we're good enough. I don't think we need any more helpers today. I think we are good enough as a team that we can completely finish building the Maze Master game uh, with just the uh, the two of us. That's uh, that's what the uh, the plan is going to be. But before that, uh, we need to do all of our beginning video things, <laughs> and uh, we're actually going to. Skip Skip breakfast for now, and you're going to see why soon, but uh, we're instead are going to go straight over to the, uh, the love garden, and I'm going to be having my cake, and we're going to be doing the race after that, and I will explain why in uh, just one second, but first I want to say uh, a huge hello and uh, welcome to my love garden to Alexis, and that's because Alexis had uh, their uh, 11th birthday, and uh, they had a special guest of me, or at least someone dressed very closely to me, and you can see uh, that they decorated it with these huge Minecraft uh, dirt blocks, and also, look! how amazing the uh, the uh, Minecraft bouncy castle is in the background. I think it looks absolutely amazing. You see they had goodie bags and all sorts there. And I want to say thank you very much for sending me the uh, the picture. Uh, I hope you had a good birthday and welcome to my love garden. Anyway, the reason why I've skipped breakfast, I know it doesn't seem like me, is that because what I think we could do, uh, I'll race to the doghouse. We should race from whichever room we eat the cake in. In my last episode, I came up with a, a new idea that we could start eating breakfast in, a, in some different locations, rather than always having it in my bedroom, uh, we could eat it from somewhere else, and uh, then we can race to the doghouse from there. So let's go and, uh, I'm, I'm really slow right now because I'm really hungry. <laughs> let's have it in the bathroom. Um, eating food in the bathroom isn't generally a good idea, so uh, don't place it anywhere near here, Lee Bear. Let's place it near the, the bath. The bath is pretty clean. Let's just go and uh, squirt some water in. We can have some nice soggy cake. <laughs> and then uh, we can have breakfast here, and then tell you what, the second I have have the last slice of cake the race begins. That's going to be the, the starting line. <laughs> Most people fire a gun or wave a flag. We eat a cake. Right. Nom, 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 nom. There's, there. There's the, the final slice and the race has begun. The first person to the doghouse is going to choose which dog is going to be joining us for the duration of the video. And I got onto a very good lead. I kind of have the advantage because I got to eat the cake. I kind of knew when I was going to, to eat the final slice. I know Lee's uh, quite a little bit behind me, but oh no, I was too busy looking behind me. I actually ran into the door, but I'm now into the doghouse, and I'm now into the the doghouse properly. I think we're going to count this as the the actual line as a being in the the dog case uh, doghouse if you went that way. And oh, it's okay, Lee. It's only it's only for fun, and all it really means is that I get to pick which dog's going to join us. So uh, it benefits both of us because I get to have a dog joining me. And uh, how about Barnaby? Do you fancy joining me? If you fancy joining me in this video, make sure your collar stays red. Yay! Barnaby wants to join me, so he can stand up. Let's go and uh, let's grab a, a few pork chops for him as well, just in case he gets peckish. I like cake and my dogs like pork chops. Let's go and uh, grab uh, quite a few of these. Barnaby can be um, uh, very peckish sometimes when we're when we're building things. <laughs> and now let's go and head back over to the the fun land uh, where we continue, uh, where we can continue uh, building the uh, the maze master game. And if you didn't see the last video, I recommend uh, seeing it first, uh, just so you know what the the game is. Uh, the general idea of it is that it's an invisible maze uh, by doing a little trick uh, where you put fence gates under the uh, the ground and then cover them with carpets. Uh, you can open and close the, the fence gates uh, to give the effect of invisible walls. And in the last episode, we put down all of the, the fences and uh, we covered them all with carpets. And in this episode, we need to, uh, to do underneath the game, uh, basically decorate it a little more, uh, because at the moment, uh, I've tunneled out more than I did in the last video, uh, but it looks a little bit like a, an ugly cave and not uh, like one of my big and bright colourful uh, mini games. So we need to sort that out first, and I then also uh, need uh, to add a roof over everything. I need to add a big ceiling of glass uh, over the uh, the top, and uh, then we can go and have ourselves a little bit of a tester game. And oh, <laughs> we need to add uh, a little a little bell on the the front of those mine carts, I think, just so you know when someone's coming, so <laughs> you don't end up getting hit. And all uh, right, luckily uh, we're actually building qu uh, quite close by. I'm used to uh, having a really long trek running over to to wherever we're building over there, but luckily uh, we are building right about here, so we can get started immediately. 
see. Uh, so yeah, this is what we did in the, the last episode. It doesn't look like much, uh, but underneath the uh, the carpet, you can see I'm kind of bobbing up and down. And that's because there's a, a whole load of uh, fence gates around here, and dogs love to jump around and dance on them. <laughs> and uh, underneath here, I'm going to get my sword out in case there's any googlies. Actually, it seems like the light can actually shine through the carpet. Look how bright it is down here. There's zero torches down here, uh, but it's all lit up and nice and lovely and uh, ready for, for us to start building in. So Barnaby, uh, you can go and sit down here and uh, we can begin building. So basically, uh, all I need to do is uh, copy uh, the, the pattern that's above me uh, underneath. So uh, this is the, the middle here and uh, this is where the, the black wall is. So let me go and uh, try and just look up and try and work it out. That does not need to, to go here. Uh, uh, is this in line for the the corner? I guess if I just stand in it and look up, um, I don't know. I don't know if it is. It's actually really difficult uh, to build like this. Um, if I work out the exact middle, which is this one here. I can kind of just build around it and make sure it's uh, all equal. It should all be uh, five by five. So I think I need to, to go out to uh, about here. Uh, basically two blocks either side of the pillar and then two blocks either side of the pillar here and there we go This is the the patch uh, which is going to be in the the exact middle and uh, then all we need to do is uh, Copy the the rows that are above me So I'm going to start off with this uh, row of orange wool here And then I'm just going to keep alternating and uh, going around the the sides like this uh, So basically the ceiling uh, should look uh, exactly the same uh, as the uh, the floor and uh, then uh, we're going to do a, uh, a Pretty similar pattern uh, with the the walls as well and then hopefully once we're finished and added uh, a few torches It's just going to look like a very big bright colorful room uh, in the uh, the same style as the uh, the game up above you and uh, the stripes also uh, do play a little bit of a, a purpose in the game in the fact that it makes it easier uh, to work out which uh, rows uh, you've opened a fence gate on uh, because the maze master is going to come down here and uh, they're going to open a gate uh, on each row on each kind of circle and uh, they could say that like uh, oh I've, I've opened a gate on the the first orange one and then I've opened it on the first blue one it kind of helps you uh, keep track uh, on what row you have uh, open gates on as well so there is some purpose to it uh, rather than it just looking really cool so uh, we've actually done a pretty good job already with doing most of the the floor I might actually uh, do a little bit of a, a start on uh, the um, on some of the the walls so let's make sure I start it in the the right place so let's go and uh, line it up uh, to make sure that I start doing the the walls in the right place and it's basically just gonna be uh, more stripes uh, that are gonna be orange and blue so it looks like uh, there should be an outer row here and then the wall should start here so I think I actually uh, made the uh, the tunnel uh, a little bit bigger than I uh, I needed to, but that's okay. It's better than making it <laughs> a little bit smaller than I needed to. So then there's going to be a blue stripe there, and then an orange stripe there. So you can see it kind of lines up perfectly uh, with the uh, the ceiling uh, above me. And then the only other thing I need to do is uh, sort out this entranceway uh, where the uh, the little ladder comes down. I'm going to make it uh, so it kind of pokes out a little bit, uh, just so then that way uh, the ladder's not going into the the middle of the room. And then the uh, the entire underneath will be done. And then the only uh, other thing I need to do is uh, to go and uh, do all of the the glass uh, which is going to be uh, upstairs at the the top there and oh I just realized I got so excited uh, with running over here I didn't actually remember uh, to bring any of the uh, the glass with me I did have a, a whole bunch uh, in the um, in the furnace but I think hopefully uh, Lee Bear's got enough on him uh, that we should be able to to get the entire thing uh, finished anyway that's what the uh, the plan is all right let's go and uh, carry on uh, doing some of the the floor along to here uh, so this should be yep this is an orange row here and then it'll be a blue row next and then this should link it up uh, to the the wall here and uh, we should get a, a pretty good idea of what this room is going to, to look like basically uh, a whole load of uh, blue and orange stripes and uh, the way I come up with the the colors uh, for a lot of these mini games is that there's certain colors that just kind of look good together if you do like a, a Google image search for uh, for color wheels or complementary colors uh, you can see that there's certain colors that just go better together and just look a little bit nicer Nicer. So uh, I did um, one of the, the games recently I built out of uh, yellow and purple and that's because yellow and purple uh, generally just looks good together for some reason. It's just the way that uh, our eyes see the, the colours and the light uh, just means that the colours look good together. So uh, that's the reason I went for um, uh, the uh, the um, orange and the, the purple. And I don't know, there just seems to be something a little bit mystical and hypnotic about it. I don't know if, I don't know if you know what I mean because it's all about maze masters and things. I don't know, it just seemed to be the, uh, the right colour. Uh, 
uh, for the the game as well. So what I normally do uh, is uh, when I'm kind of trying to come up with the the games is I'll try building uh, just a, a little tester uh, with a, a few different colors and uh, just see which one looks uh, best. And then once I've decided on my colors, I just have to dye a whole load of sheep <laughs> and then just spend uh, a long time uh, shearing them until I've got uh, enough wool uh, to to build what uh, I need to build. And we've actually uh, almost got it done down here already. I told you, I told you that me and Lee Bear are such a good building team that we could get this done all by ourselves. I am a little bit proud. So uh, I've got a, a little bit more blue wool here, uh, but I am starting to, to run out of the, the orange wool. But once again, uh, hopefully Lee Bear was more prepared than me and uh, uh, packed uh, some more wool. And uh, this here is the uh, the only other bit uh, that I really need uh, to worry about working out. So I guess if I go to uh, here like this and then uh, to here like this, I can do uh, an orange stripe down there. And I guess then this can then be blue. So the ladder uh, is in the, the exact right place uh, where it's going to be leading up. So I guess I can kind of just work from that. I might just kind of fill all of this in here with orange uh, rather than worrying about making it alternate uh, alternate because I don't think it will match up uh, to the the top you can see that the the top is kind of just all orange there uh, so I might just do uh, the the wall here uh, just the the exact same as that uh, so it all matches so I might just do orange like here like this and then get rid of these blocks and do uh, this whole wall as orange and actually I have just about run out of orange wool uh, do you have any um a spare orange wool on you at all Lee Bear that you might be able to to pass my way thank you bro and do you have any glass as well I forgot to grab my glass. I don't know if we need to uh, to run home very quickly and grab some more. Uh, this should hopefully be enough, uh, at least uh, uh, enough to, to get started and give a, a good idea what it's going to look like. And ooh, also, we should probably think about adding a, a few torches down here because it was okay when it was day and uh, the sun was shining through the, the carpets, but now it's got a little bit darker. I wouldn't want any googly spawning in here. And Barnaby, come on, you knew I was about to build there, Barnaby. Don't lie and pretend you didn't know I was about to <laughs> about to, to start building there. I might actually make this so it all kind of just fits in perfectly. Uh, so there's just one little row here and uh, I might add, uh, yeah, I'll add blue there and then some orange here, here, here and down here like that. And uh, if I change this one, I think to, to orange as well. Does this look okay? I might actually do one strip of blue around here. You can see how quickly <laughs> I changed my idea for how I want to, to build things. If I add blue around there like that and that ladder there, there we go. That looks quite good. I think this uh, this entire room looks quite good actually. So let's go and uh, throw down a, a few of the uh, the torches uh, just to, to light this place up. Uh, if I just do uh, some like uh, along here like this, uh, there should be hopefully uh, at least uh, enough uh, to stop the uh, the googlies from spawning down here because this area is for maze masters only and uh, zombies and skeletons and creepers are not maze masters uh, they're just a little bit of a pain to be honest <laughs> right let's go and add uh, I think I'm going to add some torches uh, on the uh, the walls here as well uh, just to make sure it is uh, definitely lit, uh, lit up enough you can never uh, be too careful uh, when you're trying to, to stop googlies from spawning around the place so I'm going to put uh, one torch down here on the, the wall there and uh, then yeah I'm going to go upstairs and start placing uh, inside uh, some of the uh, the glass uh, which is very important because uh, otherwise the whole invisible wall effect uh, just basically doesn't work and oh <laughs> Lee Bear's being very careful uh, watching for googlies up here actually tell you what uh, there are uh, a couple beds down here the safest way uh, to make sure that googlies won't be arriving uh, is to, to see, uh, sleep safely in bed for the night and then in the morning it should be light enough uh, that none are going to, to be spawning anyway so uh, now uh, let's go and uh, begin work uh, on the uh, on the ceiling so first I need to build a a few pillars uh, on the other uh, corners here uh, which are going to be holding up all of the the glass uh, so I'm going to go up to about here and then just kind of do these little blocks here and then this basically does a, a frame uh, where we can go and start placing uh, in all of the the glass so the glass is basically going to be above everything apart from uh, the the very middle there because in the the very middle uh, that's going to be where we get up. And oh, actually, is this the right height? This is. Look, you can see that I can't walk under it unless the, the gate was uh, was open. So uh, if I just go and uh, build this the uh, the whole way in, and then this will be uh, the game come completely done. The only other little thing that I kind of need to do uh, is to add fences uh, around the, the outside of the, the game, which doesn't really matter too much, uh, but it just means that it kind of just sort of, sort, sort of like segments off the game and just sort of says this is where the game is, you know, just so uh, we don't get any people 
people wandering onto it and getting stuck inside of the <laughs> the invisible maze and not wondering uh, why they're able to, to walk anywhere. So uh, let's just go on the uh, the inside here and I can just go and start building this glass all in a big long rows along here. And then once we've filled it all in, uh, me and Lee Bear can have a little bit of a, a test to go uh, where we can take turns being the, the maze master and uh, trying to come up with a, a devious pattern uh, that the other person needs to, to navigate their way through. But I think when the, the game's going to be really fun is when we have a whole load of people uh, playing the uh, the game together. It kind of does work as a 1v1 game. I guess you could do it as a time trial. I guess you could time how quickly one person takes uh, to get to the, the middle of the maze and uh, then switch around. But I think when it's going to be most fun is when there's a whole load of people all in the, the maze together and uh, they're all struggling uh, to get their way into the middle. I tell you what we could do then. We could do it so it's uh, three of us. It could be me, Lee and Barnaby and we can see who can get to the <laughs> the middle of the, the maze any better. We can see which species of animal is the uh, the best at navigating invisible walls. Is it going to be a cat? Is it going to be a dog? Or is it uh, going to, to be a bear? <laughs> anyway, I keep placing these in the wrong place. Actually, I don't even know why I'm destroying them because uh, they do need to, to go there anyway. Uh, the only place they uh, don't need to go uh, is uh, in this very middle area because uh, there's actually going to be some ladders here and uh, I've got one ladder on me here which I can place so I can jump up and uh, then I'm going to go and uh, run over to my crafting table and uh, see, look at that. Instead of making a new crafting table, for once I actually decided to, to head over to one of the, the old ones and I can go and make a, a whole load of these ladders and I'm actually uh, going to place some of these ladders on, actually I'm going to make a few more because I'm going to be placing some of them uh, on the, the pillars uh, that are on the, the outside as well. So these are going to be up here and uh, that is just in case you need to get to the middle of the maze for some reason, say uh, if you're the maze master and uh, you just want to get onto the, the top so you can watch, uh, then there's just going to be ladders here so you can go and uh, climb up and do that and so I'm going to go to the, the middle as well and I add a, a whole more uh, section of ladders around here uh, so that whoever wins and gets to the middle uh, isn't then going to be stuck there forever. <laughs> they do have a, a way to, to get back out uh, rather than just having to go through uh, the entire maze again. So uh, let's just go and add a, a few more ladders around here and then I guess I can start adding some of the, the fences uh, around the, the outside as well uh, just to, to block the, the rest of the, the game off uh, from everywhere else. So uh, I should hopefully have enough wood on me. Yep, I got 48 uh, blocks of wood and I can make pretty much all of that into the, the planks and then pretty much all of those planks uh, into these sticks and then that's what I can use in order to, to make these uh, these fences. Uh, so let's go and make uh, as many of these as we can. Uh, hopefully uh, 62 uh, will be enough to, to be able to, to be around uh, the entire outside uh, of this area here. I'm not sure if it will be but I do have uh, enough wood on me uh, to go and cut some some more down and Barnaby, <laughs> Barnaby had to make a decision there. I saw him on one side of the, the gates and I saw him deciding shall I stay on this side or shall I quickly jump through and uh, join Stampy and I'm glad to say uh, that he decided uh, to jump through and uh, join me and yeah we're definitely uh, not going to have, to have enough of these fences because uh, there's 25 on each side and I've only got uh, about 15 left so I am going to have to make a few more of them uh, but I'm glad to say uh, that once these are down that is literally uh, the game completely done to the point where there is nothing uh, else for us to do to it apart from to play it which is always the, the best thing about mini games. <laughs> it's always more rewarding rather than just I think playing games other people have made or like going on PC and like going on servers and uh, playing games that other people have made. I think there's always something a little bit more fun and special uh, when you build the game yourself and you can design it and do it exactly as you want and then when you play it with friends there's just something a little bit more fun and special about doing it that way uh, rather than just only playing games that other people uh, have made for you. So that's why I always enjoy playing my, my own mini games <laughs> and it's always good to uh, have a chance to, to play with all my friends as well. So there we go. The, the last fences are down and uh, so it's now time uh, to have a little bit of a, a tester on the game then. So Lee Bear, do you want to be the maze master first or would you like to have a go in the maze? So either uh, go downstairs or just stand ready. Oh, it looks like he wants me to be the, the maze master right then. So you got to wait there for one second, Lee Bear. And I need to go down here and I need to start opening some of these gates. So uh, seeing as it's the, a bit of a test to go, I'm going to make it a little bit easier and I'm going to open uh, two gates uh, on each side uh, just to make it easier for him to get to. Because it's also going to be a little bit harder uh, seeing as he's going to be going by himself. Uh, it's going to be a little bit harder for him to get through because uh, he basically can't copy uh, what anyone else is doing. So I'm going to open some here as well and I'm going to open some down here just to uh, make it a little bit more easy. I'm going to add, uh, add a few more random ones uh, just around the place like that. And so now uh, only the, the gates that I've opened 
will Lee Bear uh, be able to to get through uh, to make his way to the uh, the middle? So it looks like it uh, looks like Barnaby's already started, Lee Bear. So I'd go uh, as fast as you can <laughs> and uh, try and uh, and try and get your way through. I'm gonna quickly uh, make uh, a few more ladders uh, just so I can climb up to the the top on this side over here, and uh, then I can watch over over Lee Bear. So uh, the first thing he needs to do uh, is find the uh, the first patch uh, of uh, of open gates just so we can get uh, his way uh, into the uh, the maze uh, to start with. Uh, because when you have most games where you're racing uh, there's a uh, one very definite starting line uh, and uh, that's where you will start uh, he needs to find the starting line and it looks like he has uh, he's just now made his way uh, through the the first gate and uh, how's Barnaby doing Barnaby looks like he's just dancing <laughs> because he's shorter than Lee Bear uh, he doesn't get stuck like Lee Bear does uh, so he should find it easier and there we go Barnaby's the winner and got into the middle <laughs> only joking only joking oh Lee Bear's making some some really good progress actually uh, he's uh, he's probably over halfway uh, uh, through the maze. I think he's only got uh, two more rows of gates to get through. Make that one more row of gates to get through and he did it. He made his way into the middle. Congratulations, Lee there. You won the race against yourself and you were able to get to the middle. It was a good test though. Right then, it's now your turn to be the, the maze master. So you can hop downstairs and uh, you can shut uh, a few of my gates. Actually, I might give you a hand uh, shutting all of the, the gates that I opened and then I'm going to go back upstairs and uh, you can go and uh, open uh, a few more for me uh, just like I did for you and uh, we can see whether I can uh, get to the middle uh, just uh, as quick as you did. So there's a few more gates open over here and one open here. There's uh, a couple I opened uh, together over here. Uh, but when we play the, the game properly and uh, there's a whole group of us, uh, we won't be opening uh, as many gates as uh, we are now for this uh, test to go. Uh, there'll only be one gate open uh, on each row. So uh, Liebe, it's now your turn to be the, the maze master. Uh, you can go and uh, start opening all of the, the gates that you want. And then come upstairs, give me a little nod, and uh, then I know that I can go and uh, begin my go uh, trying to, to get to the, the middle. So I don't actually know uh, how fast Lee Bear was, uh, but I guess I can kind of guess to, uh, to whether if I was uh, quicker than him or not. <laughs> it's probably not a, a very accurate way, but uh, we're not really playing to, to win now. Uh, we're only really playing for fun and uh, just to, to test out uh, whether the, the game actually works or not. So it uh, looks like Lee Bear's still down underneath, uh, opening up some of the, the gates, trying to decide the route. Uh, so I guess you could either open gates really close to each other and uh, hope that they're going to miss them. Like, say if there's a gate open here and you open one right next to it to the left but the other person goes right, they're going to have to go the entire way round uh, before, having to, before being able uh, to get to the next row. But if you opened a gate here and then opened another one on the complete opposite side, you know that they won't have the chance of taking as long, but you know, there's a, a you know, there's a good chance that no matter what, it's gonna take them a while to get to the next row. I don't know if that made any sense, but it did to me. <laughs> right then, Lee Bear, am I am I able to, to begin? Can I can I start my journey? Right, so uh, all I need to do now is find the entrance. And woo! I was able to, to get into the, the first row uh, very quickly there. Let's see if I can get into the middle before Barnaby. Oh, there we go. I got forward a little bit more there, and oh no, looks like Barnaby's already pretty much way, uh, made his way to the, the middle. So what you kind of want to do is just sort of push into the, the wall and slide along uh, just like that, and uh, see how far you can uh, you can get through. So uh, you can never get through on the, the corners, so they don't uh, matter that much. And so if I was playing against other people, I would also be trying to, to watch all of them and uh, see when they get further into the middle, and then you can quickly rush over to where they were, or if they're ahead of you, kind of remember which way they went to get into the middle and then that way you can have the uh, the best chance of getting the the fastest route into the middle and i'm nearly there i'm so nearly there just one more gate to get through which side is it going to be on i reckon this side nope this side over here i think this is the last side i've not checked and oh no i don't think i could get on that side either oh, i was here <laughs> i went right past it before but there we go i was able to to get into the middle i think uh, that was about the uh, the same time as it took lee bear to, to get through as well and here's my prize a nice big cake but you know what I don't think I deserve the cake. I think that the real winner here was Barnaby because he won both times. So here you go, Barnaby. Uh, you can have some pork chops for your reward. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. But sadly, uh, we have just about run out of time in this episode here. So in the next episode, I'm going to be inviting in a few of my friends and we can have a Maze Master tournament, uh, which should be a jolly good fun. Uh, but sadly, as I said, there's no more time now. So I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later.